So I'm going to do uh, two video or two uh, problems. One really uh, fairly quick one. So we've got five minus eight, all raised to the zero power. And just to refresh your memories, um, what is anything raised to the zero power? And it is one. And I just want to bring that back up so you guys. Uh, have that back in your minds. So we are going to tackle problem number 40 in the book uh, from section 1.2 and that problem reads as follows. You've got the variable m, you've got the variable a. a is raised to the sixth power and they are both raised to the second power. They don't write the multiplication symbol in there but there is one so I'm going to write it in there. And it's m raised to the third power, and then it is a raised to the second power. Well, there's a couple ways to think about this. Uh, let me first draw a line there so you realize that this is a different problem. So, I actually have two of these. So if I wrote it out and I said, well, I have m uh, a raised to the sixth times m a raised to the sixth, and remembering that these are all multiplications, and multiplication is commutative, so I can flip these around and write it as m, m, a to the sixth, a to the sixth. I actually end up with m squared, a to the twelfth, because I have like bases, m times m is m squared, and a to the sixth times a to the sixth, but we add our exponents, so that's how we end up with that twelve. So, I travel back over here and I could, can think about it quickly uh, if I envision this as a 1, which it is, but we don't write it. And I don't like using the word distribution because it confuses some matters, but we do take the 2 to the 1 and go 1 times 2. So I have m squared. And we do take the 2 and multiply it by the 6. So we have a to the 12th and then it's multiplied by 1 over m cubed and a to the second. Now, what we're really faced with is a fraction multiplied by uh, uh, just something in a numerator. But it may help us to look at it as a fraction by putting it over 1. And when we multiply fractions, we actually just multiply straight across. And so I'm looking at this as m to the second power, a to the twelfth power, because m squared a to the twelfth multiplied by 1 is that expression. And then I'm going to take 1 and multiply it by this denominator, or 1 times m cubed a squared. All right, well, let's deal with the a's first. These are like bases. I have 12 a's in the top, and I have 2 a's in the bottom. And... I'm going to come over here again and do a little bit of scratch work. Well, I've got a, 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 That's in the numerator. There's 12 a's. And then I've got a, a in the denominator. Well, those cancel, leaving me with 10 a's. Well, you can think about it as, well, what's 12 minus 2? And just realize that there's more of them in the top. And so you have a to the 10th power in the top. And using that same type of logic, except with a little bit of a twist, you have m squared in the top and m cubed in the bottom. And so you can subtract those two. But since there's more of them in the denominator, the result ends up in the denominator. And so this ends up being a to the 10th. And we tend not to write uh, the exponent of 1, so we write it as a to the 10th over m.